Sony Pictures has just released their full release schedule for the next few years. The list contains a number of surprises, including Bad Boys 3 and 4, scheduled for February 17, 2017, and July 3, 2019. John, what do you think about Sony's schedule? Um, it's A lot of it is very surprising, actually. I'm, like, I'm looking at the schedule, and first of all, Bad Boys 3 and 4. We've heard rumblings for a while that that may happen. So to see it actually now on, not only on the schedule, but number four being on the schedule as well. Um, that's pretty interesting. I think Will Smith is getting ready to go back to the things that made him really, really successful and really popular. And I think that's a really good move on his part. Um, we see him, like yesterday we talked about, I can't remember the name of the film now, but he just took over for Hugh Jackman. Collateral Beauty. Collateral Beauty. Thank you. That (laughs) sounds more dramatic, and I think that's going to be great for for him. Now he's going to mix that up with going back to kind of like the brainless, like wild action stuff with Bad Boys. I think that's a really nice move on his part. A couple of the other things surprised me. Jumanji announced for December 2016. So that's that's intriguing that they're doing that. We had heard about Underworld 5, and it it looks like that's actually happening. Why? (laughs) I am why. Patient Zero is really – we haven't talked a lot about Patient Zero, and it's the Doctor Who, uh, Matt Smith. Uh, movie. It's a, it's another zombie film, but it's like a, a mutated strain of the rabies virus. It turns people into these things, these, these maddening creatures called the infected that, it, that just attack everybody. But Matt Smith plays a guy who can speak their language. So he's got to help them find patient zero so they can maybe find a cure. That's pretty interesting. Uncharted. They've got it now. Let's, they've booked it for 2017. Let's see if they actually actually stick to that. We've heard about uh, Barbie, Baby Driver, Resident Evil 6, of course, is on the way. A lot of very interesting things on here. As you looked at this list and heard about this, what stood out to you for Sony's upcoming schedule? Well, being a Resident Evil guilty pleasure mm-hmm. fan, I'm very excited that they're moving forward with Resident Evil 6. Um, and then The Dark Tower is actually something right. that I was like, you know, I'm I'm really happy to see that finally scheduled i don't know if they've ever decided they're going to do the dark tower and then a tv series or is it just a movie now do you guys know? know it's been rumored so many different things like, right. like you said i think ron howard had a lot to do yeah. at one point right Not i don't sure. even know yeah i don't think attached. he's in there anymore okay what stands out to you um there's a couple i mean obviously for me it's uncharted that's the one i really want to see how that develops it's one of my favorite video games of all time mm-hmm. i want the casting go right and i still am pulling for warcraft to be that first one to start the video game boom and hopefully we're pretty thick into it when uncharted happens uh sorry Schnapp, i could not care less about resident evil 6 um but jumanji jumanji for me <laughs> is one that i hope i would have wished that it was like I don't think you need to do a remake of Jumanji. I think you could do another sequel, like a new kid gets the game without having to do the same thing and the same characters. Like, I, I don't think it's necessary, but I, st- I would be interested to see a, a new take on it. Um, I don't know. Sony's, it doesn't seem too great yet. I'm not overly thrilled with Bad Boys yet because if Will Smith's going back to his old stuff, why didn't he go back to Independence Day? You know, is it just a money thing, I guess? Um, I think Independence I think Day was several more about his kid. Keeps trying to, to shoot his, his kid. Is, is he going to be in Bad Boys three and four too? Uh, I, I, I don't know yet. I'm, I was I like Bad Boys one. I really enjoyed. I didn't care about two as much, but I know that there's a huge fan base for yeah, it. Yeah, a so lot of people love it, that. It movie. definitely makes sense to do it. Dark Tower. I agree with Snap. I think that Dark Dark Tower is one I really want to see. Uncharted. Um, what's the Lamb? Does anyone know what the Lamb? I'm is? unfamiliar with the Lamb. I don't know what the Lamb is. And so, but yeah, oh, Magnificent Seven. Oh, that's seven. another one yeah. I'm very excited about. Yeah, yeah, about. Magnificent Seven to see uh, Fuqua and Denzel do, do work together again. Mm-hmm. And, and, to and I think some... Chris Pratt is in that with yeah, them. Yeah, and Chris Pratt's also in Passengers, too. That's another yes, one. Yes, Passengers. With yeah. that, which, by the way, it's not one of our stories today, but uh, Lawrence Fishburne, they also just announced just joined Passengers yeah. as well. So that's it's a very interesting slate, actually, here. You know, Sony... For you know, a studio that just a year ago, I mean, like it felt like every single day we were talking about Sony glum this, Sony bad news that. It's they have kind of really pulled themselves together. We've seen some cool things coming from them now. Now they release a slate. I think it's a very interesting, diverse looking slate. You, you know what it is also. Them? What it also is when you look at it, they're not trying to be Disney. They're not trying to yes. be universal yeah. here. And I think that that might be new people in charge here, too, because you look at these movies, even even the big budget ones I have with the Dark Tower or whatever they're doing, it's they're not just going superheroes or they're not right. going they're, they're, it's because it, I don't see a spider very light on. Yeah, where's 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 Spider-Man in this list? By the, the, way? the I, most superhero thing on there is Ghostbusters. Uh, right. Right. So, I mean, and even that, that's what I mean. They're they're setting even though I'm not super excited about a lot of it, they're setting themselves apart mm-hmm. to where you know it's a Sony slate, as where it doesn't just kind of blend in with what DC and, right. and Disney's doing. So good for them. 